Jasper. That's <laughs> All right, folks. So there were records, upsets, disappointments at um, the Grand Prix on the weekend. We've got Deputy Group Head of Sports for the RJ Aguilina Communications Group, Keon Rayner, here to recap the results and to give us his outlook for the upcoming uh, Jamaica Trials. What do you call it? National Trials? National, National, Champions. National Championships. Good morning, so, sir. Big morning, boss. Morning. No call me a big boss. Big eh? morning. You no. bring our money for it? Did you Nobody know a scandal in a never. 400 uh, uh, for JC, I yeah, champ. 400 what? Chickens? No, I'm sorry. Run so. Like, man. You mean on the track? Yeah, was very anyway, good. Me like lifetime, man. Like lifetime, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> very <laughs> good. So, <laughs> good. so you're yeah, a fellow, man. he's a fellow athlete. You're a fellow athlete. When he run. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, a while back. She, she was late this morning and she run from her car come inside us. <laughs> Foolishness. Don't blemish my record. It's still too bad. Anyway, mm. your overall impressions, first of all, of the, of the meet. Put it this way, it was a very well-run meet mm -hmm. on time. I uh, missed out a few athletes because of injuries and flight, and flight stuff, but I think the results, uh, most importantly, um, pointed to some good things that will come later in the year. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that is where a lot of Jamaicans, generally with uh, three weeks and three days to go to trials, they're kind of wondering what is going to happen, who is running fast, who is there, who is not there. And I think that we got a kind of snippet of what's to come. Glaring absences. Where was Antonio? What happened? Um, he Antonio, hurting. he got hurt warm in the warm-up. Oh. In warm-up. My understanding, it was a hamstring niggle. Um, they're supposed to do some checks and tests today to find out exactly what, what it is Hansel. or serious. Why did Hansel pull out? Hansel, I gather, he felt tight coming out to the last Diamond League meeting. Um, and out of precaution, yeah. um, he... I know... Um, oblique and Jaden were the stars, but before we go there, what else did you notice? I pretty much liked what I saw in the women's 100 meters. Um, some Jamaicans may not like it, but Why? Julian Alfred, 10-7-8, mm -hmm. national record, equal meet record, um, world number two, um, having just been beaten by Shikari in the States, says to me that she is going to carry some fire. For the Caribbean. Caribbean. This is a race right here. Right, She's yeah. in the orange in lane three. And here she yeah, goes. Yeah, she did really. And you know, I don't know why I thought you were going to say this race for a different reason. Can we talk about slowly? No, we though? can talk about slowly, that. definitely. But you can't, you know, not look on what oh, Alfred mm -hmm, did. Mm -hmm. Because she now says, you know, I'm one of those medal contenders. It's a stadium record, right? It's not a stadium record. Not a stadium record? No, no. Stadium record is Shelly and Elaine. It's Shelly and, yeah, you're right. Yeah? Well, no, Shelly, 1063. Yeah, you're right. Um, was jointly held by Shelly and Elaine prior. Um, but slowly, I think Coach Steve Francis and Paul Francis are just some geniuses. <laughs> She's coming from 11.4, and she go down to 11.09, then went up back to 11.30 something, and then she come back at 10.99. She need to change her last name to Fastly. Yeah. There is <laughs> nothing right. slowly about this young oh, that's funny. The MVP track club generally unveils one of those fast ones. Remember, Tina Clayton, mm -hmm. twice world junior champion, is in that race yes, as well. Yes, you yes. Know? Yeah, and slowly, in it, and in slowly just indicating that, hey, I'll be here with a shout. I have a chance to get on this team. Especially, and a lot of people are worried, we've not seen Shelley and Fraser Price open as yet. And uh, what we saw of Elaine 1130 is a bit concerning. When you talk to the people, though, who uh, run the respective camps, they're calm. Yeah? And I think I tweeted it. Um, Elaine, last season opener that was this slow or slower was 2015 when she ended the year as silver medalist in the 200 meters, 2166. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't come, I wouldn't stress too much. Um, made some calls yesterday about Shelly and Fraser Price. Mm -hmm. And the feeling is that she will, she might open at trials. Um, spoke with Bruce James some days before, he was saying she'll open in June. <laughs> We're in June now. <laughs> Gee, Bruce. Ah, two, <laughs> 200 yeah. meter women. So Bruce of him. Um, so some concern about Sharika Jackson. Um, 2169 because you're coming from 21.4. So you, you expect you to come out at a certain place. But my information is also that she pulled out at the first Diamond League meeting in China because she had a slight hamstring nickel. Um, and out of precaution, it didn't make, make her run. And she looks a bit heavy as well. But they are not concerned. Well, we had a good 200. The ladies. Yeah, Lanagay. 
Thomas is very good. She made a team last year. I didn't get to compete because passport issues. Uh, but she is she's there thereabouts. But I think she's at twenty two three six. You have to get down to twenty one nines, twenty one eights to get involved in the medal. Mm. argument but but she she will be there and no one is really talking about Brianna Liston she's in college she's running running extremely fast um, she, she has a shot to get in both the 200 and 100 this is the 200 we're looking at yeah young, yeah. young Thomas looking extremely good um, she's trained by um, coach Florel in the States uh, information is that she will be getting extremely faster by the time the Olympics Mercy. comes around. Yeah. But, she, but, but of course, she must survive the US, tri uh, the Jamaican yeah. trials yeah. like everybody else. Yeah. Sprint hurdles for women? The deepest event, I think, that we have now. Um, any three of eight can make the team. Um, I think that Danielle Williams, right now, she's number one among the Jamaicans. Um, so she will start favorite, um, two-time world champion. Um, but the Olympic bronze medalist, um, Tapper, will have a, a say in the argument. We see that former world uh, youth champion uh, finishing second there is returning to some, to some semblance of form, um, Yannick. So let, let's see what will happen. Meaning what, what, did, that, what did Megan's performance in that race tell you on Saturday? Uh, it, says, it, it says that she needs some more work. Um, but guess what? Herself and Coach Walcott has, has shown in, in recent years that they know when to get ready for the big races. And I, I'm not so much worried it's about that. It's not all your stats. It's all your finish. So you know, finish, that's what yes. I want, that's, so that's what I wanted to ask you is, you know, I hear, I hear you talking. I'm some concern about this. Some concern about Sharika. I don't have no concern about anybody because there's a, there's a secret. I don't know what it is about these competitors. Like when, when championships come, it's like something when it matters. is chaos, yeah? yeah. But, but you know, I, I, was, I was trackside, Nev, and uh, Stephanie, someone was asking, what's happening? She said, I don't write the program. Coach writes the program. Mm -hmm. And the performance is an indication of where the program is. Yep. And we, we've heard Stephen Francis say it over and over. He prepares people to run fast at trials, then at the Olympics or World Championships. Yeah. Different, different team. Different not, team. Yeah. Different not team. one yeah. program. Jaden Hibbert. Ah. Uh, Jerome Foster tweeted, who would think that our next superstar would come from the field? <laughs> and he is a superstar, Nev. World Junior Champion. He's chasing a 1792 by James Beckford. Um, and he cut the sand at um, 1775 on the weekend. Um, returning to 14 stride for the first time this year. Mm -hmm. um, just majestic, man. Look at the man. Man fly like a plane. And he knew it. The, yep. the moment he cut the sand, he knew that he, it, it was something big. Um, spoke with his agent as well, um, Henry Roll, and, and he was saying that, you know, he has some ways to go. He was heading back to the States to do an exam today in college. So Yikes. It was in, interesting that he said when he did the, the 16, the first jump, he said, he started to think about what his coach would have said to him because his coach wasn't there. Right. He said he Promise. started to think about what his coach would have said to him and then him do 1730 and 1775. Look at this. Almost suspended in air. The issue, the issue that they say he's having is yep. it's so fast. All right. We have to to the board so quickly. Um, 110 hurdles. Uh, I think Hansel should be good. Broadbell should be good. And it can be one of a number of, of, of others who will join them. What is good? Where is Omar McLeod? Omar McLeod has started to compete this year, but I don't think he is in the kind of shape that, you know, so he's will, close to his 1290. Will, will he not turn up for um, I think he will, because he's, he's been training and competing in okay. Europe. Um, but we've not been seeing him in the kind of shape that indicates where he is, um, you know, when he was doing extremely well. And we saved the best for last. Oblique P. Civil. Where call him on feet? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's something we know that you You're know. You're so right. wicked. <laughs> cool. But he, he, here, the, here the important thing, and, and in, doing the, in doing the reading last night, it jumped out at me. Obliques 981 to win. Um, to stun, I would believe, and Noel Lyles were expected to come and, and run the meet record. 982. 982. Two. Two, right. Is 982 is the quickest time 
by a Jamaican man since 2016 when Usain. one Usain sent me a boat won the Olympic title. No. Um, but when I talked to Coach Glenn Mills, it's calm as day. Yeah, yeah because did you see oblique slow down at the finish line? Yes, I you know someone Can't? someone said to me that the winning time would be nine seven something. Yeah. Same person I was telling never said to me when I got the twenty twelve Olympics that boat was in nine six three shape. Yeah. And turning with a few strides to go, you know. Says he would have run nine seven, nine nine seven eight easily. Um but I'm not surprised given that he's improved over the 200 meters. He mm -hmm. opened with a 20.17 in mm -hmm. Kingston in March and uh, just over a week ago in Atlanta, the 200 meters straight, he got 19.96. So his speed endurance is quite better, which says he generally gets short in the last 30 meters. That will not happen. But he, he also said that he hasn't been training the way he ought to train yeah. because he has an eagle. So he's, he's always had nickels, but I think this year my information is that he's the best that he's been able to train without Since interruption. Since you about Glenn Mills coming, run and hug up Glenn Mills and Glenn Mills just kind of like, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like just another day at the office. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, but oblique, oblique meaning he's been in the final, last two World Championship finals, fourth. Yeah. And uh, now I think is the time that he yeah, should man. deliver. Mm. Um, and the confidence. Mm-hmm. To look to the side of the man that mm -hmm. run past you last yes, year. You know, yes, and also and like say, hey, his gizmet, this is my you. house. <laughs> oh you my know? gosh. Meaning, so, so uh, as, uh, as of today, I say Oblique is a contender for gold. Yes. Um, but we're still talking about two months away from yeah. the Olympics. We have to go. Good to see you. Yeah, man. Well, well done. done. Always. Jinx. <laughs> man jacket yeah. body, man. Yeah, like yeah. teeth. Kian Reina, deputy group head of sports for the RGR. <laughs> you know, communications go, or jacket bad like teeth. <laughs> go with it, Aris Nevers jacket. Coming up, future in Jamaica, impacting lives. We're back with that after. Bad like teeth is a compliment. Teeth is very bad. So is your jacket. <laughs> it's not my phone. My phone is never.